Speaking to the taximen gathered for the meeting, Mr. Moore says government is committed to greening Barbados, has a roadmap in place, and is putting its money where its mouth is. He says $26 million has been allocated for the initiative and provides some details. Component one of the smart fund supports electric mobility. So right now there's $11 million of loans available to support this fund. So how far that will stretch depends on the cost of the vehicles and the interest of the public. So 200 is, I think, a reasonable projection. What we're saying, you know, what the government is saying is we would encourage the support of other lenders, private sector, commercial banks, and so on. But we are putting our money where our mouth is with respect to the $11 million that the government is providing. He adds that while entrepreneurs are free to look for their own financing, the Smart Fund is offering attractive rates. The interest rate, mind you, is a very attractive 3.75%. So if you had to choose between your commercial lender and the fund, um, this should be your first stop. Branch manager at CIBC Wildey, Francine Arthur, tells the business report, although it is early days yet, the bank is ready to sit down with taxi owners and owners of public transport to discuss terms and packages. We want to play our part in Barbados going green and we will offer financing for the electric vehicles. I know today the focus is on taxi owners and we will offer their financing. What we will do is invite them in to come and have a discussion with us and we can see how best we can help them to achieve their goal of owning the electric vehicle and helping Barbados to go green. Greening Barbados is an initiative by the Ministry of Energy and Business with assistance from the Inter-American Development Bank and the European Union. It's intended to assist small and medium-sized businesses reduce energy costs. Trevor Thorpe for the Business Report.